Okay. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Cecile Holtz. I am a partner and private wealth advisor with Arjun Bridge Advisors. And today I am joined by Tony Anarelli. Um, Tony is an agency owner with American National and Tony is really an expert with anything that has to do with um, property, casualty insurance, umbrella liability, um, pet insurance, I mean, all the above, and, and Tony, please expand on this. Um, but he's been a wealth of resource over the years, and this month our topic is all about protecting wealth. You know, as, as wealth, uh, wealth managers, we all often think about how do we build wealth, um, but it actually starts with protecting wealth. So I'm very excited to have Tony today, and um, you know, Tony, we, we, when I talk about property casualty with people, um, they often have that, like people will have their home insurance, they'll have their car insurance, um, but often people don't really have the umbrella liability insurance and like, you know, what if you got sued essentially? So do you mind maybe breaking it down to us? What is umbrella liability insurance and how might people benefit from it? Absolutely. You know, and it's, it's hard to get comfortable with insurance sometimes, especially when it's pertaining to your auto and your home, because it's very set it and forget it, right? right. Um, oftentimes people think of, I have it or I don't have it, you know, but unfortunately insurance is typically not a yes or no situation when it comes to claim or when it comes to a lawsuit. So, you know, what an umbrella policy is, um, that's more of the common term. Uh, it could be known as a personal liability policy, personal catastrophe policy. Um, essentially what it is, it is a pure liability policy that okay. is going to typically come in to help somebody if they're getting sued, um, especially when it's exceeding the limits of, let's say, an accident for auto insurance, or it could be some type of claim arising from home insurance. Okay. They call it umbrella because it kind of shelters over those other products covers everything right okay correct so just to give an example right let's say there's an auto accident um we're in that dmv area right lots of crazy driving lots of construction um you'll be on 66 you're going 75 miles an hour and then you're and going zero sucks. miles an hour right immediately <laughs> yeah. right. um so boom car accident right strike someone from behind um well you're Auto insurance most commonly has a split limit policy. So it'll indicate a number, a number and a number. Okay. So the first number is your per person liability. The second number is per accident, right? So I hit you from behind. Okay. Um, and my insurance says that it's going to pay up to a quarter million dollars for any one person for their bodily injury, up to a half million per accident, assuming maybe there's multiple people involved. Okay. Mm -hmm. What if though I hit you and now you're suing me for medical bills, for pain and suffering and for lost and missing wages? Mm. Now, you're suing me for a million dollars. That's the calculation that, that came about, right? I only have a quarter million dollars per person on my auto policy. The moment that quarter million is exhausted for my auto policy, that's typically when that umbrella comes in next. So then I have a million dollar umbrella policy, which will be covering up the next component of that. Um, I tell people it's usually like that last line of defense before your bank account, an umbrella. Got it. And so what should that amount be? Is it basically to protect, like if you were, you, can you be sued for more than what you, uh, you're worth or what do you recommend? You know, I feel like it is not, you know, I'm not in the courtroom, right? But okay. you typically hear and see a lot of crazy things when it pertains to someone suing another person. Mm -hmm. um, I think you could be sued really for anything. You know, it's not, we'll see what happens at the end, right? But um, I actually, true story within the last year had someone where they got hit by somebody, okay? They got rear-ended by somebody. That person sued them. Uh. The person that caused the accident sued them um claiming that they you know whatever they were not pro they were a little bit too far of a line or something crazy like that um and then they just sue for whatever amount that they can come up with so you, we can't really prevent that right we can't prevent someone suing us what we can do is properly align our insurance limits to be within our assets so that instead of coming out of our pockets it's going to come from the insurance company that's, that's what great. the insurance is for 
Mm -hmm. And so when I talk about this with clients, you know, everybody's always like, oh, this sounds great, but how much is it going to cost? So I remember you way back when I met you, you explained that there are smart ways of structuring, um, really reviewing the whole thing, your auto, um, uh, auto home and an umbrella so that you're not necessarily paying more, you're just getting a better coverage. Do you mind sharing a little bit about that? Yeah, and this, you know, this kind of goes to the conversations we've had about when and why people need to review their, their auto and home coverage. Um, oftentimes, you know, you get settled into a policy, oftentimes for home insurance, it's automatically paid once a year by your mortgage company from the funds that are sitting in escrow. Um, so we tend to lose track of premiums. And one way to really help offset the cost is when you do a review, more times than not, and I'm talking I'll be conservative and say nine out of 10 times. I'm wow. doing a policy review with somebody. There is a lot of excessive items and coverages that they're paying for that they do not need. And I don't mean this, some of them, it might just be philosophically, right? I don't think that coverage is worth the amount. That's different than other pieces I've seen where literally they have a certain amount of coverage where they are never gonna receive the benefit of the amount they are paying for. Okay, so I'll give you one example of one thing that's very common is dwelling coverage on your home insurance. Okay, mm -hmm. dwelling is really what's going to pay to rebuild the structure of your home. Okay, when you live in that Northern Virginia, DC area, you know, we can live in these situations where our house, the house, the construction of our home might be $250,000. Mm -hmm. We happen to be on a million dollar plot of land in Alexandria, right? Those, I see these houses, and even though that only takes a quarter million to rebuild their home, they might have, have a million, million dollars of coverage. Right. right. And when you're home, people don't realize this. When your home disappears in a tornado, the insurance company does not just write you a check for whatever it was insured for. This is not right. life insurance. All you get to do is. they charge home. you the premium for it. <laughs> you charge you the premium, though, right? right. Um, so those are just times where I just call it a correction, okay? Over time, it keeps going up. They give you more coverage. It's called inflation protection. It's very common. But hey, after 10 years, that's a lot of excess coverage. So we do a review. Uh, we can correct that. Oftentimes, that's going to save you, you know, multiple hundreds a year, you know, depending how far out of line that number's gotten. Um, that alone, people don't realize an umbrella policy, million dollar umbrella policy, normal circumstances. We're talking 20 bucks a month, you know, 20, right. 30 it's bucks a affordable. month. Yeah, for a million dollars of coverage. Um, so for what you're getting, for what you're paying, um, even if it's, you know, a $10 million umbrella, right? At $3,000 a year, $10 million for $3,000 a year. Um, you know, that bang for buck is truly there when we're talking umbrella and liability for those who really need it, especially in this area. Right. It's basically money well spent and not really worth going cheap on just because it's, it provides you with so much coverage with very little downside and, and very little money. Um, and I want to say, you know, this is meant to be a short video, but Tony is available to answer any questions you might have. Uh, we'll definitely make sure to share his contact information um, in, in the video link. So um, please feel free to reach out. Again, Tony's a, a wealth of resource and, and we've gotten nothing but positive feedback about his work. So thank you so much, Tony, for your time today and uh, we'll be in touch shortly. Very good. Thanks.